Hi, today we're going to discuss healthy communications. But before we get started, let's make sure we're in an environment that is free from distractions. So if you are in an environment with, with children around, move to a different environment. And also, once you get to that environment, put your cell phone down or any electronic devices that can distract from the conversation that you're trying to have, which we are trying to establish today as healthy. So, the six components of healthy communication starts with first by finding the right time. Make sure you find the right time to discuss whatever it is that is on your mind or something that is pressing for both of you or a group of people that need to talk. Make sure it's the right time for everyone. Secondly, meet face-to-face. -face. It's always great to meet face-to-face -face because you're able to express yourself in a manner where people can see your body language they can understand your gestures your nonverbal skills because you also communicate in verbally and non-verbally when you meet face to face three do not attack the person whatever it is that you have to discuss don't go in blaming them or already accusing them of being guilty of something that you want to discuss secondly be honest being honest is very important in healthy communication because you want each of you to be receiving and giving true information, things that are true and factual. Don't put any implications in there. Don't add any lies. Don't give false information because immediately that is a sickened communication. You want this communication to be healthy. Next. You have to check your body language. Be careful about pointing your finger in somebody's face, folding your arms, rolling your eyes, turning your lips up, just looking all crazy. All of those behaviors, all of those nonverbals is communicating, but it's unhealthy for what you're trying to pursue, which is a healthy communication. Next, implement the three-day rule. Implement the three-day rule gives you time to reflect Reflect on what happened in a situation or the words that were exchanged. And then you need to evaluate your behavior, your response, and anything that you contributed to the situation. It also gives you a time to try to understand where the other person is coming from or where they came from <clears throat> during, during the situation. So let's go over the six components again. The first one is find the right time. The second one is meet face to face. The third one is do not attack. The fourth one is be honest. The fifth one is watch your body language. And the sixth one is implement the three day rule. So here you have given, you have been given the six components to healthy communication. Okay. I'll see you next time.